What's up, fighting game players? It's Old School Fool here. And if you guys don't already know, I'm actually a big fan of fighting games. An extreme big fan of fighting games. I love fighting games, in fact. All types, from old school to new school. And of course, one of the more new school ones, based on an old school concept, happens to be Street Fighter 4. Yes, Street Fighter 4. Now, back at CES, I covered, uh, you know, the um, one of the guys behind the Street Fighter 4 arcade stick project. Uh, we had a little bit of a, you know, a showcase. I mean, we never did an official unboxing of the product. And to show you guys what the old big hubbub of these sticks are, we're going to show you an unboxing of the tournament editions. Yes, that's right, the tournament editions, plus the uh, standard editions that are standard collectible editions. They're still pretty cool also. Uh, but, yeah, you guys were waiting for it. We got them. I'm going to show them to you. And uh, just to put you guys' mind at ease, these are available still. Even though originally uh, said they were going to produce a few thousand, that is no longer the case. They are going to continue to produce them. We're going to start with the the first one, the Street Fighter 4 Xbox 360 Arcade Fight Stick. Here we go. Right. As we unbox it, you'll take a look. There's just that one class on the bottom. There's no kind of, you know, crazy little third world saran wrap on this so it's just a, a box and voila that's what you're getting folks I played with this on a few tournaments and it's pretty badass actually uh, at first glance you'll notice that it has uh, lots of Street Fighter 4 artwork very similar to the uh, the actual uh, skins on the 360 my man cats also and the faceplate looks like a similar artwork featured all right. Uh, upon taking this out, you'll notice it's a attack card for all you newbies out there. But hey, listen. Bottom line is, if you don't start somewhere, even if you're a noob, you know, you gotta start somewhere. I mean, it's that simple. We'll give it a shot. And you know, if you need a quick card instead of pressing start, just keep this card by your side. Here it is. Focus attack, the ultra combo with stand attacks to build up your revenge gauge. I guess they're officially calling it a revenge gauge. So you know, now's your time to take your revenge. We have uh, the standardized, as we had with the Hori sticks, we have the standardized secure foam. Ooh, look at this. One, two, is it nice? And here you have it. This is it. The Street Fighter 4 Xbox 360 stick. Regular style stick. Now, as you notice, if you hear, it has the arcade parts again, similar to the Hori. Xbox 360 stick. It's got the the cherry top, but in white. All right, it's got the soft press buttons. The uh, as you notice, this has an you know they boast about the the layout that it's a Japanese style layout and an American style layout. American style layout was obviously the three across. Japanese style was this uh, three up, and of course the fourth. You can assign your different buttons. You don't have to use these two, obviously. Uh, we'll be showing you how to mod these sticks on another video, so just make sure you subscribe in case you haven't. And if uh, just a little background for you guys, the original style, if you notice real quick, um, then there was the three buttons. This is almost like a an SNK style stick. Upon further inspection, you notice there's a headphone jack right here, which is nice to add. This headphone jack actually is included for the Xbox Live it comes taped to the inside of the box. So you get this cool little headphone jack splicer thingy for your 360's uh, proprietary technology, if you want to call it that. Has turbo functions, has the sync button here, watch the home button, aka bring up the menu, aka sync sometimes, depending on what this is. But this is a wired controller, folks. Wired, yes, it is wired. Now it's pretty cool here when you can actually set the turbos on the buttons. It actually has a lock here. See that? Lock and unlock. There's like a little lock button. So you can actually hold that in case somebody else takes hold of your controller. They're not going to be screwing up your buttons anytime soon. If you notice, if you look at the design on the sides right here, it's slightly curved downwards for your palms to rest. Now I have fairly big hands. If you notice, it covers like, you know, <laughs> almost the whole joystick. So, I mean, it is small. Uh, but definitely well designed. I have played on the stick. It is a good stick. I personally don't like the the these type of soft press buttons. I really like the micro switch buttons better. So there you have it, folks. That is the official Street Fighter 4 Xbox 360 stick. And of course, don't forget the start and select buttons, which are nice. They're not presented on the front, but they are on. 
top down portion. All right, da, da, da. as you can see behind me and in front of me, the Xbox 360 Tournament Edition. Yes, supposedly there's a only a certain number of these to go around, like I said before, but they are being produced still, originally from the first run and continuing otherwise. Now with this one, you get this nice, really big box. It's pretty diesel, and you get the official Street Fighter 4 Tournament Edition fight stick. Uh, good old uh, Darren Richardson as the president of CEO of Mad Cats. And the uh, Yoshinori Ono, which is the Street Fighter 4 producer here at Capcom. And those two guys signed off on that bad boy, <clears throat> supposedly endorsing this quality product. And there you have it. This is the full size. Nice big window, nice collectible box. Box is pretty cool. Actually, sometimes you might like the box a little more than the stick. So let's take a look what this is all about here. Unflap it, and there's little two little stickies here. You pull up. There you have it. Wow. I can smell the competition in here. We get the good old headphone adapter for Xbox Live headsets once again. And we're just going to pull this bad boy out. And here you go. There it is. Now, I noticed that there's no cool card. All right, so there you have it, the full size. So how big is the difference? What's the real difference here? Well, let's take a look, shall we? I'd say it's about, this is about two, two thirds the size. So you got at least about like two and a half inches. We have the Japanese style layout, a little more hand room before my hand reached the whole thing. But now obviously we have more space, so we got two hands. Two hands are better than one. This is once again a wired controller folks. But the only cool thing about this one, it has a nice little little slot here for tucking away your controller uh, wire. This is probably the coolest little invention that I felt. The uh, cable keeper. Once again, it's a wired controller. We have the turbo buttons. We have the, uh, the Xbox home button. You have the lock and the unlock feature. The difference between this and the other one is that there's actually the ability to, to mod it once again with a more arcade parts or if let's just say you just don't you know you've been beating the, the ever loving piss out of this and you want to replace the, you know the stick or the buttons are sticking or you know you got done eating rainbow cookies and you know you got like some little sprinkle pieces you know lodging controllers in between matches and you know why it's just a pain in the ass and just doesn't play anymore the way you want it to you can replace these buttons you can replace this start the select buttons also on top and the headphone jack is on the bottom now how do you mod it well the question is is that well you gotta take things apart obviously and if you notice here as we will show in the other video if you click the link you'll see that we have little allen keys little allen keys screws that will take up the, the top casing take off like this plexiglass type surface and pull up and off not to leave everybody else out, PS3, if that's the way you're going to go with it, we have once again the PS3 stick, which is almost identical in regards to packaging. Almost identical, so we don't need to go through that again. Okay, this one once again does not come with that cool card. What's up? Once again, we have the start select. It's pretty much the same product, weights the same. But obviously, the only things that has changed is the PlayStation Home button. Get that little home. It's time to go home. And of course, the turbo features, the lock button, they're all there. Of course, this is not the only option. Obviously, we have box unbox other arcade sticks. It's also a matter of preference. I think that every stick has its own ability. I mean, some people even build their own sticks and go to the next level, but obviously it's very time consuming and a lot of work. Sometimes very rewarding, but if you guys are looking for a solution, then these are it right now. TE sticks, regular sticks, we have Hori sticks, every kind of sticks, even chicks with sticks. Once again, I am Old School Fool. Thanks for watching our unboxing of the TE and standard Street Fighter 4 Collector's Edition sticks. They're available now, and if you haven't done it already, check us out on Twitter, Twitter forward slash Old School Fool. Alright guys, hope to see you guys next time, and I'll play you guys online soon. Thanks for watching.